guys, welcome to the chapter 10 review. Today we got Josh here. Uh, he's going to be helping me reviewing the map. I'm going to be sitting away from the computer, so hopefully my mic can get a better quality on the recording. You know, on my voice, but no guarantee that's gonna happen. Anyway, um, yeah. Alright, Josh, you get to go first on the design. Hey, what do you... So, tell me what you think of it. What you think... Describe why. Yes. But, alright, what about the atmosphere of the map? And how well does the atmosphere fit? This is just a bit... Oh, yes, that's one of the main things I like about Chapter 10, Outlet. This, I was thinking of making this an abandoned outlet, a much scarier and darker atmosphere. Sure, and I'm not going to see you doing that. So... Definitely the design. The design sign is probably one of the best designs in the entire series. This is very good. It's that good. Now, as for the story, the story of the map. Good lord. The story. Now, Josh, how would you describe the story? If you had one word to describe it, what, how would you describe it? But what is it that makes the story so good here? Or was it executed well? Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, it revealed quite a bit about Piggy's background. Like before, the right of Savage, that Piggy has a had a very unclear background within the series, but, but in this chapter it's established this is just what the hell is going on with her. In this chapter, it basically concludes her art in the story. After this, I don't plan on her having any really major roles. This is really bored. But, as I said, this review was going to be short. It was not going to be a very long review that searched out. So, so I'm hoping that, that that my quality ends up being good enough for me to upload it. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say. Hey, we're going to. Bye bye now. Come on here.